guys and welcome back to another Codeam video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to actually install the app that you just built in C Sharp to your desktop or you know wherever you want. So to start this off let me just say that the uh, documentation and the help when you research this online is pretty crap. So the whole reason for me making this video isn't so I could just make a you know a simple video. It's literally because I'm having trouble finding uh, resources for Visual Studio 2019. So I, I'm hoping that this helps you guys. So what we're going to start with is uh, go ahead and obviously open your project. So here I do, or sorry, here I have it. And uh, if you guys don't know about this, this is just a uh, tic-tac-toe app that I built. Um, and here we go. We got, you know, these nice good old tic-tac-toe board and it, it's great. But, you know, now I want to actually install it. All right, so obviously, number one, you're going to have to open up your project. And here I am. I have my project open. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is my tic-tac-toe project. It is it's completely done. If you're interested in that, please watch my other video. But for now, um, we have it, and we're ready to install it. So number one, you want to go up to left corner and click Build, and then click Configuration Manager. And... Right here, you're going to see the name of your project, and then the configuration will be set to debug. Uh, I already set it to release because I'm ready to go, but usually you're going to load this, and it'll already be you know, set to debug. So what you want to do is change it from debug to release, and then just click close. So once that's done, go ahead and click uh, build over your uh, solution, just to build it real quick. And then after that, the next thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have the Visual Studio Setup Project um, extension installed. So to make sure that you have it installed or to go ahead and go download it, um, go up to the left corner again, click Extensions, click Manage Extensions, and then give it a quick sec to load. It's going to load the most downloaded items on the entire store. And if you'll notice on my particular scenario, uh, number four right here, we have this one. It says Microsoft Visual Studio Installer Projects. And this is the exact project extension that you're going to need in order to install it to your desktop. So go ahead and click Download. Okay, so now that we uh, have it downloaded, you'll notice that it says your changes will be scheduled. The modifications will begin when all Microsoft Visual Studio windows are closed. So what that means is you have to go ahead and close this, save your project, and then go ahead and exit, and then restart Visual Studio. So let me just do that, and I will be right back. All right, so here we are. We are back into Visual Studio. Um, when I exited, I noticed that you know installer came up. It went ahead and installed it. Um, just let it install itself. Uh, you know, give it all the permissions necessary. Wait for it to come back. Open up your same project from before, and then once you're back in here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to your solution, not your uh, program, but your solution. Right-click on it. Go down where it says Add. Click New Project. And then in here, you're going to go ahead and uh, erase this, make it all languages, and then uh, all project types. And what we're going to want to do is look up setup. OK, so here we are. We have a uh, three different options here. We have setup project, web setup project, and setup wizard. So we have three different things here. And my favorite one to use is actually the setup wizard. You can do whatever you want. And a lot of people go with the setup project. but I think the the wizard is a nice thing to do. It you know it helps the user walk through stuff. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna click next, and then you're gonna need to give it a project name. So we're gonna call this uh, tick tac toe, and go ahead and click create. So here we are. We will open up a setup project wizard, and you can click next and create. What you're gonna want to do is uh, it asks you two basic questions. Do you want to create a setup program to install an application? Yes, I do. And do you want to create a redistributable package? Now, in this particular scenario, I do not. But if you want to, go ahead and select that. Um, but for now, we're just going to click Next. Um, and then, you know, it's going to say which project groups do you want to include. You know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, we're just going to kind of leave it like it is at the moment. Click Next. And it also asks if you would like to include some additional files. but there is honestly no need for this, so we're going to click Next again, and then go ahead and click Finish. All right, so here we are, and you'll notice a lot of stuff has changed. Let's open up a new window. Uh, we have a couple of different things here. Um, 
So number one, the left side of the screen is the target machine. And so this is what the installer is going to target when uh, the user downloads it or, or tries to install it. So there's a couple different things, like a lot of programs that you currently have on your computer, you know, when you install them, it asks you, you know, questions like, do you want an icon on your desktop? Do you want it um, in your, you know, start menu? You know, different things. And you could actually go ahead and, and customize that as we go here. So inside this file explorer area, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and click application folder, right click, click add, and then click project output. And then we're just going to go ahead and select primary output. So this is going to be the exe built by your uh, project. So this will actually let it run the uh, solution. So go ahead and click OK. So that's going to make some stuff show up there. And then next, we are going to want a uh, shortcut. So to do that, let's go ahead and click on uh, the primary output from your project name. And then go ahead and click right, right click this and then click create shortcut to primary output. So what that's going to do is going to create the shortcut to that so they can actually access the uh, the solution. And you'll notice it has a super ugly name. You could actually rename it to whatever you want. So this is actually what the user is going to see. So go ahead and click backspace. We're going to name ours Tic Tac Toe and click enter. And then you're going to take this icon and then go ahead and drag it into the uh, left side here. So you can put it in the desktop or the programs menu. We're going to go ahead and put it on the my desktop. So now that that's done, if we go ahead and click users desktop, we will see that the uh, shortcut is here and that will allow us to easily access the program. So the very next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and go up to build and then click configuration manager. And once you're inside the configuration manager, we're going to go ahead and click uh, to release any CPU. Here's our project here. Click uh, release and check the build. And then you could also check the deploy if you want. Go ahead and click close and then give it a quick save and go ahead and build the solution. And you'll notice there's some useful output down below. And what you need to do is just take the uh, building file here and go ahead and copy that file path. And once you have your file explorer open, go ahead and go to the top, paste that file path you just copied. Go ahead and click release and then here you are you have both your files required to set up your application all right guys i hope that this was a helpful video if you like this please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for the next video um, thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and with that said i will see you in the next one